えー、おはようございます。シスコシステムズ。Hey, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name、uh, is Kawakami with Cisco Systems GK. First, I'd like to thank the organizer for giving me such a great opportunity to speak in front of such an august audience. Uh, yesterday, I enjoyed listening to a very important discussion、uh, for reducing a GHG emission globally.、Uh, when we think about the importance of a network,、uh, I think there are three main points we would like to take note of.、Uh, first of all, as we heard various concrete examples in session three yesterday, Uh, one thing is to monitor、uh, the status of the global environment and also for dissemination of information of the measurement and data are gathered. And the second uh, role uh, for uh, a network is that many ICT applications for energy saving will be、uh, further promoted in the future. And ICT applications themselves are going to be deployed over a network as a platform. And that is the second role of network. And the third uh, is uh, individuals or companies need to change their attitude.、Uh, And network can be a very important replacement for various uh, uh, ways to reduce the carbon footprint and the carbon emission, and therefore, technology such as a network is a key for a global warming challenge. Cisco Systems, as a partner of the Clinton Global Initiative, committed. To reducing carbon emission from corporate air travel by 10% per employee. And also, for this purpose, Cisco committed $20 million in the development of new technologies for facilitating collaborations in the workplace. And In the、uh, fiscal year 2007, which ended in July last year, our sales grew by 22.6% from the previous year. It was、uh, quite challenging for the Cisco to attain 10% reduction per employee while increasing the sales revenue by 22.6% with、uh, increased corporate activities and employment、uh, and employee increase. But we were able to attain 10% per employee reduction as a result. And this Was made possible through the introduction of telepresence and unified communication technology、uh, we deployed in house. Now, a telepresence, as a matter of fact, in FI 2007, 110 systems are deployed in house in 60 cities, 20 countries, and 25,000 telepresence meetings were、uh, executed over a network. According to our in house、uh, calculation, 98 meetings、uh, of one hour telepresence uh, uh, usage uh, is equivalent to the emission reduction of CO2 uh, of uh, 5,200. Uh, a mile uh, uh, flight. And this is equivalent to the one way trip from San Francisco to Tokyo. So that much CO2 reduction was、uh, made possible. Uh, network equipment, equipment themselves needs to be、uh, more energy saving. And this is an area a lot of discussion took place yesterday, so I'd like to be brief in this uh, uh, point of view. But one thing I'd like to take note of is as follows.、Uh, today,、uh, through acquisitions of Scientific At Atlanta and Linksys,、uh, our product、uh, portfolio has、uh, broadened to include a lot of、uh, consumer uh, products. And because of their、uh, large sales volume, to raise the consumer product energy efficiency is a very important task for our company. And regarding the second point I mentioned in the very beginning,、uh, ICT applications, how are they are going to help uh, uh, the CO2 emission reduction? Many ideas need to be generated for that purpose, and I'd like to share with you some of the projects we have been undertaking on our part. One project is Connected Urban Development Project. We are undertaking it. 
in our company. Uh, some uh, studies show uh, that 75% um, of the global energy consumption take place in urban areas and 80% of uh, GHG emission in cities. And uh, uh, CUD or Connected Urban Development is a project to cut GHG emissions through continued energy savings in collaboration with the municipalities and MIT and the service providers. Uh, for instance, uh, the use of uh, uh, smart working utilizing uh, satellite offices allocated uh, throughout the city, which can be used by multiple uh, uh, persons and organizations and information dissemination services to solicit the use of public transportations uh, for residents and tourists, and also connected bus, a project uh, targeted to facilitate the use of buses. And also, as Sama mentioned yesterday, a congestion charging system are currently uh, planned in some of the cities where pilot projects are going to take place. Pilot projects are going to start in San Francisco, Amsterdam, and Seoul uh, under this uh, naming Connected Urban Development. In Amsterdam, project uh, targets uh, to reduce 76,000 tons of CO2 emission in the next five years. And our company would like to uh, transfer uh, the result of such demonstration project know-how uh, into a kind of a blueprint which can be used as a best practice uh, replicable in other cities. A second project is about a data center. And many speakers yesterday have eloquently, eloquently spoke about the energy efficiency improvement for the data center. So I should like to brief uh, in this project. Uh, 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 data center uh, consolidation is uh, uh, taking place at a rapid rate in Japan uh, due to the uh, law and uh, regulation compliance issues and uh, the energy efficiency improvements uh, in such facilities is uh, quite crucial. The third project is named CRE Connected Real Estate. Some studies indicate that 50% of the global energy uh, is consumed by buildings. In view of this, uh, more than data center I mentioned earlier, uh, the energy saving in building sector is extremely important. A connected real estate is a blueprint to integrate various building systems which have been so far individually installed, operated, or managed uh, on uh, the IP network platform. Such a, a project uh, not only reduces uh, the required building constructions for construction phase, but also helps develop IT-enabled energy saving systems. Uh, actual uh, building management systems, I referred to include uh, systems such as HVAC, energy power metering system, lighting system, access control system, fire detection, alarm system, camera monitoring, and unauthorized break-in break detection systems, and so forth. Uh, in the second headquarter building we have in Bangalore in India, uh, Outlook's scheduling function and lighting and air conditioning system of meeting uh, rooms are connected with each other. Uh, therefore, uh, the uh, uh, power can be switched on and off automatically in accordance with the meeting schedules. And also, uh, they are also connected and linked with sensors and so that those equipment will be activated only when there are a human presence in the meeting rooms. Uh, concerned. Uh, this uh, project uh, began in October last year, uh, and uh, uh, today I am not uh, uh, in a position to uh, tell you how much uh, uh, effect we were able to achieve in this uh, particular project. The fourth uh, project or concept is Connected Workplace at Cisco. Uh, so this one, I'd like to show you how this particular notion is executed in our company. Cisco's working environment is flexible enough to enable our employees to work in the same way as in 
company office premises, uh, no matter where they are physically are, as far as they are uh, connected to IP network. So our employees are not constrained by a usual thinking of uh, working in office and commuting to uh, places, uh, offices. They can choose to be where they want to be uh, for the higher convenience and their own productivity gains. Uh, this not only contributes to CO2 reduction coming from the employee mobility, uh, it also contributes to the office space saving and energy saving uh, through the use of hot desk approach. And as you can see in this slide, uh, in our offices, uh, uh, we only have 60% uh, of the desks uh, for the uh, number of employees registered for that particular office. And uh, we are actually uh, have uh, achieved some office space saving and energy saving uh, through the use and implementation of connected workplace. And uh, about uh, the ways to provide incentives, as was discussed in uh, the uh, morning session yesterday, uh, first incentive we can think of is uh, the e easier uh, uh, way uh, for the employee uh, to work or more convenience and such uh, notions are necessary when we want to be successful in a, such a connected workplace otherwise uh, the employees will not be able to find uh, uh, a uh, actual desk uh, to work at uh, if uh, they want to work at the some uh, desks in an office and so uh, besides having uh, such uh, new technologies, we also need to consider the ways to provide some uh, spaces or locations within offices uh, or tools which would uh, encourage collaborations among the employees. However, there are some uh, uh, challenges we have to think of. For instance, connected workplace means that uh, employees are going to be more physically dispersed and separated from each other. And therefore, in order to execute uh, corporate activities, we have to consider effective use of IT tools in order to facilitate communication and collaboration among the employees. And we utilize three different kinds of uh, technologies. Uh, and uh, voice conferencing is uh, mainly used for ad hoc meetings. And for web uh, conferencing uh, is uh, used for uh, meetings uh, to assure communication with the employees working at home or in physically distant locations. And for telepresence, we consider this as a uh, replacement to face-to-face uh, -face meetings. No. Uh, in our company, uh, we installed 181 sets of telepresence equipment in 60 cities in 20 countries as of today. The deployment of the systems began in October 2006, and uh, so far in total, 76,578 meetings with telepresence have been held with the average time spent uh, uh, 75 minutes. And the average utilization rate of this uh, telepresent equipment is uh, uh, very high, 45 percent, uh, in comparison to a conventional TV conferencing system, which has uh, only an average of 8 percent utilization rate. Uh, this uh, telepresence equipment has been used extensively in our company. Uh, Twelve. 1,850 uh, telepresence meetings, which account for 70% of the all uh, telepresence meetings held so far in-house, uh, according to our surveys, have made a direct contribution uh, to avoiding business trips by employees. In CO2 emission equivalent, uh, this uh, is uh, the same as uh, 15 million cubic uh, uh, meters or tons of CO2 emission avoided. Uh, this is again an issue which was raised yesterday. Uh, on the 
part of the company uh, when introducing uh, such a, a new technology, CO2 emission reduction is not the only uh, uh, business case uh, for justifying the introduction. Uh, ROI in pure business sense is very important. And in its regard, we have done various uh, calculations and estimation, estimations. Uh, for us to introduce 181 sets of uh, telepresent equipment, we invested $79 million. Then what is the ROI we have obtained so far with this uh, investment? Regarding the direct travel expenses, we expect to have a $61 million reduction in the next three years. Uh, this is a very conservative estimate as it assumes that uh, business travel expenses will be saved for only 5.5% of meeting uh, participants and also um, Non-productive uh, time during uh, travel and uh, mobility uh, is estimated to be uh, four hours per business trip, and uh, this reduction uh, is equivalent to forty-two million dollar economic uh, benefits. And also, as a secondary uh, benefit, successful business uh, deal and average days spent on business talks improved by 2% according to the in-house studies because uh, through such a technology, information required by customers uh, can uh, be supplied at the right timing uh, by uh, specific experts and executives in the corporate headquarters uh, very quickly. And uh, uh, this is uh, the uh, part of uh, the business case we can uh, use for justification. And in Cisco, uh, a 2% increase in successful business dealings uh, is uh, $120 million worth of new business acquisitions. And the average uh, days spent on business talks reduced by 2% means a five-day reduction, which is a $68 million contribution to our gross margin. So uh, from the viewpoint of uh, ROI and uh, a replacement to reducing face-to-face uh, -face, uh, meetings, uh, a telepresence system is truly a very flexible and a beneficial one. But so far, the telepresence system uh, is often limited to be used uh, only in-house for the company who has uh, installed a telepresence system. Uh, and uh, NGN uh, is expected as an important technology which facilitates the use of telepresence over uh, multiple companies or multiple entities. One potential is a B2B connection. Uh, this uh, allows uh, the telepresence uh, use among different companies or organizations and has a bigger potential for CO2 emission reduction. And also, uh, such telepresence services, uh, when uh, they are installed in some kind of uh, joint satellite office or uh, leasing uh, meeting rooms, uh, the person who wants to use it just has to go to the most uh, near telepresence service uh, facility, avoiding a long haul trouble. Uh, and when uh, Codec, which makes such technologies affordable for home users, is developed uh, home uh, by connecting this system with the ground digital broadcasting TV system, uh, can use such a system uh, like they use a conventional telephone uh, and uh, be connected to another home or uh, with a company. In that sense, uh, NGN has a very big potential for facilitating and expanding uh, the scope of telepresence system applications. Now, this is part of the future planning we have. We uh, plan uh, to send information uh, to users of telepresence uh, uh, equipment uh, about the data of uh, to what extent that they have contributed to the carbon emission reduction uh, by supplying uh, such a feedback to the users. We would like to raise the awareness of the environmental issues further to solicit their continued use. 
Now, teleprison system uh, is a great system with a high level of a sense of immersion, but it cannot be a complete replacement of such a face-to-face -face conference or meeting. However, CO2 emission reduction, if uh, that is a very important issue to be tackled with under corporate responsibility and individual responsibility, we'd like to further consider the ways to utilize the teleprison system. Uh,